Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 11 of our preparation for four exams together, DEPR, IES, IAS, Economics Optional and UGC Net. Many often, you know, you, you students are texting me and asking me, ma'am, how do we go ahead and study and how do we create this momentum of studying? Because what happens you start studying and then you just get distracted by mobile and by say different things together. Now, <clears throat> you know, we used to have this, uh, during our time, one of our professors who told us that you should follow a 25-5 break system. So what he would tell us that go ahead and study for 25 minutes. Take a five minute break. Five minutes are more than sufficient for you to go ahead and relax yourself, refresh yourself, go to the washroom, look into the mobile, do whatever you want. But five minutes should mean five minutes. As an offer five, Achha, hai, paanch le leta hun, paanch le leti hun, and you keep doing that. No, five should mean five and then you again study straight for 25 minutes which is going to seem very simple 25 minutes hi to hai, and you then again take a five minutes break now in this way if you go ahead and you study for say five hours again this is not a big thing but studying for five hours it's like this that if you are studying if you start at 3 p.m then you have to go till 8 p.m and for every one hour, in one hour, you have effectively studied for 50 minutes. So you have only taken 10 minutes break, right? Per hour, you have studied for 50 minutes and you have just taken 10 minutes break. So you need to understand the amount of effectiveness that this will create. After 5 hours, 10 10 minute kagar break liya bhi ho, to 50 minute, 50 minute, 50 minute, 50 minute, 50 minute, you have studied for 250 minutes. Isn't it? Right? And that is the amount of effectiveness that you're going to go ahead and get. So, this is the way you take some breaks. And 3 to 8 ke beach mein, you don't have any lunch hours. You don't have any, uh, you know, you don't have any, let's say, a dinner time. No, you can take a snack time in between. Okay? But this is the way of studying. Right? And these five hours also need not be together. Aisa bhi kar sakte hai na? That we can study from say 3 to 6. And after studying from 3 to 6, then we can take some break. We can relax. We can exercise for 20-25 minutes. Ye teen ghande humne kar liya. And then we start from 7 and 7 to 9. And within these hours also, we follow this 55, 50 uh, studying and 10 minutes break. So 25-5, 25-5. Or beach me ghanta to anyways you have relaxed. So by doing this, you will be studying more effectively than other times, right? Okay, beta. So now uh, we'll start with today's session. Every day I am going to meet you from every day from Monday to Friday. I will be going ahead and I will be meeting you at 10 30 a.m. And for more information on such sessions, I request all of you to go ahead and join our telegram group by the name of artha point okay beta its link will be in the comment section the topic that i am going to take for today will be mathematical last 10 dino mein humne koi bhi maths ka topic nahi liya hai it's not going to be very difficult easy maths that we are going to go ahead and study so it is going to be on set theory sequence and series okay beta look into the question what will be the next term of the sequence? And the sequence is given to you like this. So the sequence may agar hum dehan se dekhna start kare bache. So you will realize that the first term is 1 by 6. And the second term is 1 by 3. Sabse pehli cheez ye karne chahiye ki aap jabhi bhi koi sequence dekho. You try to see if you will be able to see something uh, common as a difference. Sabse pehle inka difference nikal ke dekho. Agar kuch common nikalta hai. So, if I will be finding a2 minus a1, I will be getting 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. So, 6 minus 3 by 18. So, 3 by 18. So, 1 by 6. And if I will be doing a3 minus a2, so this is going to be half minus 1 by 3. So, 3 minus 2 by 6. So, 1 by 6. 
तो कॉमन रेशियो इज वन बाई सिक्स बिकॉज देर इज अ कॉमन रेशियो इट मीन्स दैट दिस सीरीज इज इन ए पी इफ दिस सीरीज इन इज इन ए पी तो इसका नेक्स्ट टर्म भी लास्ट टर्म प्लस वन बाय सिक्स हो जाएगा सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी सिक्स प्लस टू बाई ट्वेल्व एट बाई ट्वेल्व दैट मीन्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी टू बाई थ्री so the right answer to this question will be d which will be 2 by 3 okay beta read the next question which among the following is or are correct in the context of set theory and you are given some options to hum kuch options ko yahan pe evaluate karte hain let us try to go ahead and let us try to look into the first option so this is saying a union b union c is equal to a union b union c of course bachche this is the correct option ye to isme to kuch galat hai hi nahi whether i do a whether i do union of b and c and its union with a ya pehle main a aur b ka union kar lu aur fir c ka union karu it should mean the same thing you can also look at this through the venn diagram hmm so just notice this thing so i have a b and c if i do b union c this is going to go ahead and this is going to give me this part b or c ka union and then if i do its union with a to ye wala part b include ho jayega and if i just reverse this this is a b c if i do union of a and b i will get this and then if i do its union with c meko ye wala part bhi mil jayega then also i will be getting all three so whether i do this or this i am getting the same answer okay now let's go ahead and let us look into the second part so this goes ahead and this says this is saying a union a intersection b union c a union b intersection c of course these are two very different thing ye dono ekdam alag hai तो अगर मैं B यूनियन C करती हूँ इफ आई डू B यूनियन C, दिस इज B, दिस इज C, दिस इज A, तो B यूनियन C विल बी दिस इंटायर थिंग एंड इफ आई फाइंड आउट वॉट इज इट्स कॉमन एरिया विद A, आई विल गेट दिस पार्ट दिस इज कॉमन विद A. सो आई विल गेट दिस एज द आंसर बट इफ आई जस्ट चेंज दिस एंड आई आई टेक A, B C and I do A union B, so A union B will be this beta. And if I find it's common with C intersection C, so C के साथ का common area ये हो जाएगा. The two are not the same, ना? No? The two are not the same. So therefore, these two are not equal. So this is false. Look into the third part. So third part बोलता है A Union B intersection C. So if I just use the distributive law, beta, यहाँ पे तो A union B intersection C में पहले union यहाँ जाएगा, फिर union यहाँ. So it will give me A union B intersection A union C. This is using the distributive law. So this is exactly correct. Please verify this through the Venn diagram. Then let's talk about the next thing. so if i talk about the fourth one aur yahan pe main distributive law lagane ki koshish karu so you need to understand that this is intersection here so a intersection b union c will be a intersection b union a intersection c hmm this is also correct using the distributive law koi dikkat nahi let's come into the e part A इंटरसेक्शन B इंटरसेक्शन C तो पहले मैं B और C का इंटरसेक्शन करूं एंड देन आई डू एन इंटरसेक्शन विद A या फर्स्ट वी फाइंड इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ A एंड B एंड देन विद C इट्स द सेम थिंग दोनों ही इंटरसेक्शन है सो यस वेदर आई डू A इंटरसेक्शन B एंड देन इट्स इंटरसेक्शन विद C और A इंटरसेक्शन C एंड देन इट्स इंटरसेक्शन विद B और A इंटरसेक्शन B इंटरसेक्शन C ऑल थ्री मीन द सेम थिंग सो दिस इज करेक्ट right so the only incorrect option we could find was b right so answer will be a b d and e right okay beta 
read this question. It says in a town of 840%, 450 watch news channel on TV and 300 people watch only sports, 200 watch both. Okay, so total number is 840. And news channel is 450. 450 watch only news channel and sports is 300. Right? And both is 200. So you need to find which which of them watch neither. So probably so number of people who watch neither, it will be total minus number of people who watch either. Either means ya a ya b. So either is always represented through union. So number of people who watch either sports or or is always reflected by union or um, news will be number of people with sports plus news minus both, right? So sports is watched by 300 plus 450 minus 200. So 500 minus 450, not 500, 750 minus 200, so 550. So either, either ka hume mil gaya, that either one is 550, this one, this is 550. And total is 840. So I will go ahead and get 840 minus 550. And this is going to give me 290. So the correct answer to this question will be 290. Right? Homework. You have to tell me the number of people who watch exactly one. Ya to sirf news dekhte hain, ya wo sirf you know, um, sports, like that. they watch exactly one. You need to tell me the total number of such people. Okay, thank you.